Okay guys, so I have another miniature build and I know I said that the uh, greenhouse was gonna be the next one, but John ordered this one and we were both kind of super excited about it. So we're gonna do this one first. This one is Nancy's Bake Shop. So I'm really excited to start this one. It is so cute. I mean, excuse my like window lighting in the background, but isn't that adorable? Look at, I mean, look at those little flowers and there's little bread on the inside. It's so cute. And you know what? I was comparing the boxes of these. This one's thicker. So I don't know if they've just changed the structure or if they've changed what's inside or if this is just a bigger kit, but either way, I just, I got excited about this one. So we're going to do this one. So let's go. Let's do this. If you hear anything in the background, by the way, Bullet is snoring in his bed and I don't want to wake him up to record this, but uh, I just opened the box. These sheets were actually all stuck together so I cut them apart I just thought that would be easier for me and it has been so far and I wanted to go through the whole kit and paint anything that needed to be painted before I got into anything else and also I remembered from the last kit that the paint did not have super great coverage so once again, I think I'm just gonna always probably have my own paint, but I mixed up my own paint with some better quality paints that I had at home. I tried to match relatively closely to what the kit gave. Um, so the colors are gonna be very similar to what came in the kit, but just a better quality paint so that I only have to do one or two layers instead of like five, six, seven that we're still not covering on these kits. Like the, the paint that they give is just straight garbage. But anyway, um, I did find some cups. These cups actually, I just got them at the Dollar Tree and it came in a pack of, I wanna say like eight of them or so, you know, for the Dollar 25 because it's not the Dollar Tree anymore, it's the Dollar 25 tree, but you know, that's a whole nother bag of beans but anyway um so these cups wound up working really well so a lot of these kits too have that same sort of light ivory color almost yellow um I do have a tendency to make it a little more yellow just a little brighter but that's me so hopefully these will work for some of the other kits too because I mixed up Plenty, but it's always better to have too much than not enough and I paint other stuff as well so I will definitely use the paint and won't have any leftover paint or if I have leftovers I'll, I'll find a use for it it won't get wasted is my point here <laughs> but um, yeah so I wanted to go ahead and pre-paint everything so that because that to me is one of the most tedious parts and this kit in particular had a whole lot that was not painted. So, I mean, typically all of the walls and stuff, and, and well, in the last kit that I did, all the walls had to be painted as well. But and you can see here, I tried with these smaller ones because they gave you this whole set of smaller ones. I thought maybe those would be better. I think those might have actually been worse <laughs> than the last kit that I had. Those those tiny little pots were, were they, it's just bad. It's just bad paint. Um, so I, I make my own and you can see I tried there on the top, but it's, it's, it's not good. So um, I got all the walls painted and then there was a whole bunch of little pieces also that had to be painted. And I don't know why they did it like this, because clearly they have the capability of putting painted pieces in the kits. I mean, all of those blue doors that you see on the bottom right hand of the screen right now, those came painted. So why, why didn't any of this stuff? I just, I, I, I don't understand. Um, and then there were a few pieces for um, the oven, the like 
stone oven, I guess, that um, they wanted you to glue it and then paint it so that it would have texture or whatever, I guess. I don't know. I didn't like that idea, so I didn't do it. Um, I just, I just, you know, did it, painted it with no texture. And here again was me getting frustrated and just mixing my own paint. And I only did enough with these tiny little pots for the pieces that I had. I knew that I was getting all of the pieces that had to be painted that color. I looked through the manual a little bit just to make sure that I wasn't going to need any of these colors anywhere else and did all of the pieces that needed the paint from those tiny pots in advance so that you know I didn't have to worry about mixing it not getting it exactly the same shade um, because that's just annoying so um, I, I didn't want to save too much of these either because you get to where you have pots and pots of paint that you've mixed up and then nothing to do with them so I just mixed up a little bit just in cheap little palette there for these pieces. thought I'd attempt to make a quick reel despite, you know, cars running by and show you guys kind of what happens when I'm filming. I'm working on painting pieces for the miniature build. Show you my view out the window. And what's typically happening here. Pull it. You just want all the loves, don't you? What are you looking at? What you looking at, buddy? Always wanting all the love. But he's the best studio, buddy. Thank you. Did you have a boy? Not a bad view. <laughs> right, bullet. And now back to work. And it's off to building the furniture, which is some of my favorite part, if we're, we're being completely honest. And I put in that little precision bottle is actually clear gel tacky glue. And um, it was one of the better glues that I had found when I did my glue video, which if you haven't seen it, um, I'll put the link right up in the top right hand corner for you and in the description below. But um, I will say now that I've used it for a kit and not just little bits and testing, um, it slips around a lot and it doesn't dry very quickly. Um, I mean, it doesn't take forever, but everything is really slippery until, until it dries. And it does take a little bit to dry. So, um, I had to use different things to hold it together or work on one little bit at a time while I was doing that. And this is me looking because it kept saying champagne wire 
in the kit, but to me that is gold wire, not champagne wire. And there is the magical, wonderful grandmother Stover's, which uh, for putting the furniture together like this, I still don't think it's the best bet. I do think it's the best thing for um, anything with paper on it. Um, but I don't think it's the best thing for the furniture. Still, I'm still kind of hunting around for what I think might be the best things. But the Grandmother Stover's is hands down the easiest stuff I've had to work with. And it's just wonderful on that paper. So easy to work with. But anyway, back to the champagne wire thing. That to me is gold wire, not champagne wire. So I went through the entire book making sure that they were talking about the, what I would consider to be gold wire. Just to make sure that there wasn't something missing or anything like that. But no, it's just, it's gold wire. But the book described it as champagne so there it is um, and that's what it was supposed to be With this little podium build, um, the instructions said to sand the edges. Um, I don't know if that's just to give them a lighter finish or what, but I actually preferred the darker edges on this one. And I figured I could always go back and sand it later if I didn't like it, but uh, I still like it like this. So I left the darker edges on it and um, as of right now, oh, that's bullet in the background. <laughs> um, as of right now, that's the way that it's gonna stay, but it did say to sand the edges, but I thought it was better like this. Also, the paint was the, um, the little register. I hated the way that it looked. I, I just, I had to repaint it. So I did it in a gray colored, sort of like an old metal register. And then, um, just did the buttons and all repainted those so that they looked like buttons and I just I thought that was a little cuter than the kind of horribly painted um, register that they had included in the kit. This aluminum tape, y'all, I can't decide whether it's one of the best things that I've worked with in these kits or one of the worst. So for like for like this, this is not too bad because uh, you just cutting it into strips and then taping it around and it sticks to the wood and it's just meant to be a surface so that the wood looks shiny. And for that purpose, I think it was great. Um, for some of the other things they use it in this kit for, and I'll talk about this later on when they come up, I don't think it was as great of a resource, but for this, I mean, it's absolutely fabulous because you just 
take the sticker off the back and wrap it around and all of a sudden you have a nice silver oven or stove or whatever it is where you call it <laughs> whatever it's called where you're at but I, I call it a well if it's got stuff on the top it's a stove this I would call an oven but uh, what would you call it I don't I don't know I'm curious but I liked the tin foil for this This was the build where they wanted you to put glue all over the wooden pieces in order to, I guess, add texture or something. I don't know. I didn't think that it sounded like a very good idea to me, and I wasn't a huge fan of the idea of a stucco or stucco type texture or something like that being on there anyway. So I just painted it. Um, executive decision made <laughs> so I just painted it um, the only parts that I didn't paint initially were the two little pieces there that went on the top side of the chimney just because of the way that they glued in I thought that would be easier to put together after painting um, or painting them excuse me after I put it together but um, and here's one of those things where the aluminum tape I don't understand why we're gluing the cardboard to the aluminum tape and then sticking it onto the oven I just it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me so they're touching up the paint on the edges and all and then that cardboard piece there that goes on top of the oven that one had a bit of hard time sticking so I just I kind of had to hold on to it for a while um, you'll see it pop up a couple of times here before it goes up eh, there it goes so um and that tile on the top part I just I don't know that I like it but anyway this is where we're gonna end the video I hope you guys liked it I hope this method is working for you I hope to see you again next Monday for another miniature build and on Thursday for whatever I decide to do on Thursday just remember though why not you see you later guys <laughs>